Hello, welcome back to lesson 62. We're going to have a look at time, routine and schedule. Now, we've done this kind of classes before in terms of organizing your agendas, you know, making time to work, to study, to eat, you know, so you can have a healthy life and everything. But uh, this specific uh, class, I took two parts of two great books okay so the first one it's not in order which one's best please but you know this is what i know the most so the first one i put some quotations from the holy bible and the next page i put some quotations from you know the quran the holy quran i think i don't know i think you said you can say just the quran uh so let's start off with uh, some of the Old Testament, which I believe that, you know both religions agree to, and um, there is a very famous, very 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 famous uh, saying by who wrote this was King Solomon, and he was considered to be the wisest man on earth, as never had been before or at his time, and never again will be someone so smart and wise as he was. And he wrote something which is called A Time for Everything, which is on Ecclesiastes 3. Okay, so it's, uh, I'm not going to read everything, but I want you to read it and I want you to um, really put your thoughts on this if you agree. Because here he's saying that everything um, has its own time, you know, time to heal, time to hurt. Uh, time to be born, time to die. I mean, everything has its own time. And once you've read that, I would like for you to give your uh, personal ideas on this, okay? Your personal uh, opinions, if you think that everything in life in general has its own time, okay? If you think that uh, nature has its own time, if you can respect the time of the animals, the time of the rain, the, I mean, everything you know some people think that everything happens for a reason so live calm be more calm you know live a healthier life instead of just running 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 after everything and then you just see time goes by and you don't see it okay so have this you know reflection and talk about it i think it's very interesting to talk about it so there is um it's chapter three if i'm not mistaken it's uh, and it's uh, um eight verses or it has more but i put eight verses down and once you've discussed and you've read it i would like for you to go to the next page where we're gonna see uh, a little bit of um the quran and Prof uh, prophet muhammad's um traditions okay how it um how it became and there are some famous quotations as well about the time when he talks about time so here's the uh, i put three down and i would like for you to read all of them i'm not going to be reading it because you know some of them are quite extent so quran 103 the next one is 18 uh 19 and then the next one is 23 and 113 together okay so read it please uh if you don't have a quran or if you don't have a bible internet is there for you so you know you can download it or you can buy it uh maybe buy online or in your app store make sure uh you can read this because they're very important books uh i think that you know one of the most famous books there there are you know, in terms of religions and in general i think everybody knows these two books and uh, it has very sacred and strong um ideals of life um, so it's interesting for you to know how you can um put, you know set your time how can you live your life how can you see well you know in, in three years i want to have this um good but in order to have it how am i going to do it in order to achieve it okay what is the goals daily i need to set myself what are my goals weekly what are my goals monthly in order for me to achieve that final goal in two years or three years time or do you live your life just oh you know let life take me and i'm free as a bird and everything's amazing i mean it really depends okay it depends on you and your um everything about you it's about you it's how you live your life but have a read at this 
it's very good and I hope it helps you to see life in a different um, way as well and do some reflection, okay? Uh, Alright guys, next lesson, lesson 63. Uh, we're going to be studying uh, the irregular verbs. I'm going to have a look at professions. All right, so I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.